Oh, they're still working. Huh. Yeah, you gotta dance with the spike over here. Okay, so if you jump in this section, yeah, uh, don't jump. If you jump, uh, there's basically a long hidden blade on top of you. If you jump, then you'll get a strong pattern blade. Yeah, you don't even need to do this. Okay, uh, now this is funny because this is the part you have to jump. Here's five. Oh hey bro. Five, you found him yet? No, I think Hades said that he he saw him in the lower layers of the mines. You know Hades, you go Sasau? Ah uh, yes, he told he told me he's stuck in the mines. I see. Tell me if you see him again. I don't necessarily trust the clown. So yeah. Oh well, what do you know? The clown doesn't attack. This area is completely blocked off with mine cards. Wait. Why is it why is mine why does mine card capitalize? Okay, that took a while, but we're back. I should have paused the recording, but whatever. Why is there a Rugen here? Uh, great. Why is six afraid of seven? I'm pop culture savvy now. It all started last Friday when they crossed the bridge together. They made an unfortunate series of bad luck and the bridge collapsed. Their bad luck comes only where they are close together. Ah, ah nice. Who's Alexandria Gallant? Alexandria Lensley. The legend says that she's a demon. Everybody fears him. Not surprising, she's... She, since she's extremely buff and tough, she's also the non-humorous one. Her destiny is to purge evil in the land of Quattery, despite being born in twilight. First, there's this dude named Olaf, then another guy named Cynical. Actually, I don't know if she exists or not. It's probably just a myth. According to urban uh, Quaterian legend, Alexandria's target is a castle deep in the forest beyond the state of Sandcraft. It is owned by Cynical Herman. Cynical is real, I tell you, because I met his son, a clown, before, so that might say something. Why is Six afraid of Seven? Seven is always at odd with Six, even though Six tried to even things out. She sure is the fiercest num number known to mankind. Perhaps Six always put himself before Seven, or Seven thinking he that she is above Six. Six prefers the company of four anyways. She is sweet and less pra less scary. Probably also she knows how to put two and two together while seven doesn't. 
This duo makes a perfect 10, even though two has occasionally tried to keep them apart. The funny thing is, neither six or nor seven had an issue with one, who usually sits in the corner all alone. Well, both of them has some values in them, unlike zero, who has no value at all. And if you ask me about them, I'm pretty much standing in the middle ground as I used to be. <laughs> wow. What? Okay. Six hasn't been the same since he left Sandcraft. Every time he closes his eyes, he sees Charlie hiding in the, in the darkness of the forest. Not that you could ever see those boss bastards, mind you. They were fast, and they knew their way around the forest. He remembers the look on the boy's face when they walk into that village, and oh dear. He shouldn't think about that now. Sometimes he still hears... He still hears Texas' slow southern accent. He remembers the smell of that pink Shankan flowers. Or oh, actually, it should be Han Kan flowers. He always did, he always disliked herbalism, but the boys are gone now. It's just that he forgets them sometimes, and sometimes the way that Seven looks at him, it makes him think, sets him on the edge, and he feels like he's back there in the forest, in the darkness. I think he almost met Alexandra, but I'm not sure if she's real or not. Uh, let's just read another one. I saw a tunnel in layer 3 that has been blocked of what's in there. Hemophobia. I um, think we have to go there first. I did mention that uh, the clowns are actually not as. Uh, oh, uh, they are not really that. Like uh, all these gaps or stuff, they actually really uh, is more lenient, I guess. Uh, while in Ship Shifting Adventure One, they're really hell. Get out of my way, clowns. I think they are officially called the crawlers, but informally I like to call them the clowns for obvious reasons. I believe there are bats here. Puzzle. Layer two, layer three. Okay, so one two one two seven spike. Uh, the name of the 
the name of this puzzle puzzle is one, uh, one two one two seven spike. So basically, uh, now this is extremely hard uh, because you have to, I guess, uh, what is it? You have to do some trial and error mathematic uh, mathematician. Uh, trial and error, or you just do this like mathematically, which uh, is kind of hard. But if you want to, like, who buys flowers for three hundred twenty dollars? So, for example, uh, but you can try uh, mess with this uh, to uh, for different. Like, see this one. You did not buy enough for your girlfriend, so she slapped you and broke up with you. The end. The game has been resetted if you want to try again. Uh, I, I think different, uh, different, uh, purchases you will, uh, make him, uh, will make the game say something different, but, um, uh, most of them is just uh, the girlfriend, the girlfriend, being a greedy jerk. Your girlfriend was angry that you did not buy more for her. Cry to sleep that night and hope that she does not break up with you. The end. You can't even like go broke on yourself. As in, you have bite off more than you can chew. You become broke, and your girlfriend broke up with you. The end. Or maybe you can do this. Your girlfriend was satisfied, but not enough to make her happy. The end. Your girlfriend was satisfied. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, I wonder if uh, I think this is the maximum that you can do is you can only make your girlfriend satisfied but not uh, happy. Oh wait. Oh uh, yeah. Your girlfriend was happy at first, but when she found out that you spent all your money, she broke up with you. The end. Yeah. This is the. This is the one. Okay. So yeah. So what you want to do is um, this one. Minus this one will get you one two one two seven, and after that you have to press this button over here, spike. So yeah, one two one two seven spike. Uh, if I can remember, I think this is how you do it. Wait, something is wrong. Uh, oh wait, I think I might have got it. Uh, uh yep, there we go. So, uh, reset, reset, reset. So what do you want to do is buy four of these. Oh wait, whoops. Buy four of these, uh, three of these, two of these, uh, nine of these, and seven of these. So four, uh, four, two, nine, seven, three, and you pay with this much. Set, and there we go. Oh, come on, you little damp here. Yeah, I, I actually didn't expect anyone to pass this uh, because this puzzle is really difficult. So, yeah. It's pretty much like PT. Where you have to figure out very hard puzzles. 